said this is one of the greatest tragedies in the church. There are many people, Deacon Smith, who need help. There are folks who need our guidance and our mentoring. There are folks that are broken and need to be healed. And they need someone to come alongside them to aid them in their Christian growth, their deliverance, and their healing. But even in a church full of people, they find themselves all alone and unable to heal. My brothers and my sisters, the church of Jesus Christ needs to become a place where people don't feel alone. All right. The church of Jesus Christ needs to become a place where folks don't feel excluded. The church of Jesus Christ needs to become a place where people don't feel belittled, talked about, and persecuted. The church of Jesus Christ needs to become a place where people can find hope and find help. The church of Jesus Christ needs to become a place where people don't feel broken and destitute. The church of Jesus Christ needs to become a shelter of hope. When folk have gone astray, we need to be a shelter of hope. When people are sick and they feel like they cannot get well, we need to be a shelter of hope. When folk need spiritual healing and spiritual guidance, we need to be a shelter of hope. When people are brokenhearted and feel oppressed by society, the church must be a shelter of hope. The songwriter says, we once were lost in sin, but Jesus, he took us in, and then a little light from heaven filled our souls. He bathed our heart in love, and he wrote our name above, and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. As members of Hope Missionary Baptist Church, we understand that our purpose is to make disciples of the lost. Our vision is to be faithful, to be focused, to be fearless, and be fruitful. Representatives of Jesus the living Christ as we strive to be loving channels to and for the glory of God. With this understood, we as Hope Missionary Baptist Church must grasp the fact that no matter what we do, no matter how we feel, no matter how folks treat us, we are to be a shelter of hope. We are to be a shelter of hope. And think of Simpson, what that means is that we are a safe place. To the house of God is to be a refuge for all believers and unbelievers. It can be a place where those seeking God can be encouraged and equipped without judgment or prejudice. Technically, there should never be a time when people come into the household of prayer and don't feel secure about the disciples that greet them at the door. My brothers and my sisters, we are to be a shelter of hope. As we examine the word on a daily basis, we understand that ultimately no matter what we endure, we ought to put God first. Furthermore, through my experience in this walk of faith, if we begin with God and we put God first, 
then everything else will begin to fall in line. And as we put God first, we understand that it is good and it is pleasant for us to dwell together in unity. So the body of Christ must be unified, which simply lets us know that we are to work, walk, and live together in love. My brothers and my sisters, we walk together in love as we seek God. So we understand know how no we understand how to live together in unity and work in fellowship with one another and love one another unconditionally. The theme of this of this text is reestablished Israel will experience God's deliverance. And see, because they were delivered by God, they can now be a blessing to others in their time of anguish. Therefore, this is to be close to The body of Christ, that's us. Since we've been delivered, we should always do our best to be a safe place because we've been blessed by God to be a blessing to one another. In our text, we are yet again examining the words of Obadiah, the prophet of the true and living God. And due to the fact that Obadiah is a prophet, it lets us know that Obadiah spoke to the people what God told him. See, that's the true definition of a prophet. He was prophesying, Ray, not prophesying. Because what he said came directly from the true and the living God. Through Obadiah, we understand that God sent a strong message of dissatisfaction and disapproval to the house of Esau because of their unbrotherly like behavior and controversial actions towards Judah. And what God gives a word of expectation and direction to Judah. In this passage, God is talking to Judah. The prophet lets Judah know that Jerusalem on Mount Zion, they are to be a safe place or a shelter to the people that have escaped. Are you with me? What the prophet is telling Judah is that when the displaced people find you, they should find a place of relief from whatever is oppressing them and causing them discomfort or suffering. And remember, it is the power of Almighty God working through you, Hope Missionary Baptist Church, that breaks the yokes that lightens the burdens and it sets the captives free. Yeah. These displaced people, these refugees are to find comfort on 100 Lemon Street. We are to be here to comfort them in their time of weariness. We are to be there in their time of distress. And this place is to be a place of deliverance. Deliverance from their despair. Deliverance from their trouble. Deliverance from their depression. And in this house, my brothers and my sisters, what people should find are those laboring for the Lord 
in excellence. Understand that the key verbs in this phrase are will become and will be. See, minister training ready. They will become a refuge and they will be holy. Y'all with me? Hope Missionary Baptist Church will become a refuge and will be holy. And what that simply means that we are going to be a safe place for those who need deliverance and we will, we will be growing in our holiness day in and day out. For the Bible says, be holy because I am holy. And we understand, sisters, who that we cannot be like God. But every day, we should be striving to be better and better and better and better. So we will be a refuge. And we will be holy. Come here, Paul. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away and behold. All things have become new. Tell your neighbor, say it's becoming new. And even though Judah had endured suffering at the hand of her brother Edom, with God, Judah still has hope because he has never forsaken them. And God has always been a safe place. Even in the midst of tribulation. And we have to understand that because he's been our safe place, think of glad we must be a safe place for others. This passage, it shows us that there will be persecution. There will be evil deeds done to us as the people of God. However, God's people have the confidence in knowing that no matter what we go through, He is our refuge. He is our strength. And he is there to help in our time of trouble. This lets me know that if we abide in God, which means he is our Savior and our Lord, we are protected. I should have got more than one hallelujah. We are protected. And we need to be willing to do what needs to be done Amen. so that we make it through and they make it through. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. So what's the characteristics? Of a shelter of hope. Number one, God must be the focus holistic. Number two, unconditional love for God and one another is a priority, not an option. Number three, our guiding principle is the word of God. Four, and lastly, number four, holiness must be our prime objective. Yeah. Holiness, my brothers and sisters, understand, identifies and confirms the fact that we are a part of the community of God. So we must make God our focus holistically. We must have unconditional love. 
We must be rooted and grounded in the word and what we must be striving to be holy. My brothers and my sisters, if we are going to be a safe place for those who deal with the misfortunes of life, we must be committed and we must be connected to Jesus Christ. If our desire is to be a place where there is true deliverance and growth, there must be a commitment to be connected to Christ. If we desire to be like that healing balm in Gilead, there must be a commitment to be connected to Christ. If our desire is to be a spirit-filled refuge for our brothers and our sisters in their time of trouble, there must be a commitment to be connected to Christ. The songwriter said, God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, God who has brought us far along the way, Lord, it's simply by my might that you led us into the light. Keep us forever in the path we pray. This lets us know simply that we must stay on the right road. Misfortunes may arise, but we must stay on the right road. Tragedies may invade our process. We must stay on the right road. Sickness sometimes may be unavoidable. It may be untreatable, but we must stay on the right road. Disconnections may be hard to overcome. We must stay on the right road. Your mind may sometimes play tricks on you, but we must stay on the right road. Confrontations may seek to ruin your peace. We must stay on the right road. See the songwriter, he encourages us to simply walk in the light. Beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine right. They shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Jesus, the covenant keeper. Jesus, the qualified redeemer. Jesus, the covenant in the midnight. Jesus, our defender. Jesus, our healer. Jesus, our protection. Jesus, the field. Jesus, connects. Jesus, illuminates. Jesus, sets us free. I understand. Everything else fails. I go to the rock. With trouble all around me. I go to the rock. See God promise that he would keep me if I abide in his holy word. No matter the problem. I can go to the rock. My strong tower. My rock. My heart fits up. My rock. My burning barrel. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He heals in my time of sickness. He's the greatest love I've ever known. My keeper. He holds me close in the midnight hour. He reveals the unknown. He reveals the mysteries. He leads me out of harm's way. He orders my steps. I like direction. I can depend on him. I need help. 